All right, let's see some race of cards. The the goal for this seems a little ambitious. We got BMAC attack. BMAC is of course the the Imperial starship from Star Wars, and it's attacking the X-wing. And we've got lost okay. for words. Yeah, <laughs> and they both have a fifty percent win rate. They both went two two in MT fourteen and fifteen. Yeah, this is their second tournament for both of them. So BMAC attack took a, a break. But 2-2 two -two is good for your first tournament. Yeah, it is. Perfectly even. Yeah, these, these competitors <laughs> could not be more perfectly matched. <laughs> yep. Everything on this screen just says coin flip. Very detailed picture of that crowd. Yeah, high res. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why the stream for uh, Lost for Words wasn't working. It was because I still had VLC open. <laughs> it was still putting Maxale on top. Alright, I think we can reveal the game already. I'm fast. Pew pew. Everybody, welcome to Super Buster Bros, oh. also known as Super Pang. Apparently, it's Super Pang. Like, it's like the sound a balloon makes when it pops. Mm -hmm. Pang. And Buster Bros is the person who busts the balloons. Two of them. Yes. We 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 coded the mystery. I think that's like a, a... there's a remake of this for the Switch. Oh yeah, that's cool. I was watching the demo mode play here. We had an awkward situation where a player, we just assumed it was a demo mode, but it oh. turned out the player was actually just playing the game and we were like, oh, oh wait, wait, hold on. Um, so we had to stop that one. Uh, but I was watching Lost for Words demo and like the demo was going hard. Like it was like mashing the button and like smashing all these bubbles down. <laughs> and I was having nightmare flashbacks that our Lost for Words was just playing the game, but no. Just a really strong demo. Yeah, watch this from BMAC Attack. Look how good this thing is. <laughs> it's and then like... all these little ones come, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's but, like where... getting it beneath the bubbles as they're about to hit him. Yeah. Yeah, whichever dev was on top of uh, recording the, uh, the footage for that demo. It's so really on their it. game. <laughs> This demo is a prime example of watch the demo. Like the yeah. strategy of standing below bubbles that are about to hit you to hit them because then the two parts that come out of the bubble will miss you. Mm -hmm. That is strong. There's some kind of like chain element going on with the stars too that's on display. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just about ready. Like Start. pop everything in the screen in sequence. All right, our first live race after all those vodcasts. Here we go. We have the signal. Normal mode, level 25. Um, we've got these this sort of like you can get ahead of the bubbles and shoot the chain and it'll kind of form a wall that they will run right. into. Yeah, that's interesting. And you can only have one shot. Uh, yeah. At a time. So if you miss. Oh, it's like Space Invaders. Uh huh. Get ready. Oh, nice. Beamac Attack has them like in a. Oh no! Bubbled. Whoa, <laughs> you get just thrown across <laughs> the stage. Yeeted. Bubbles are mighty. Oh, pick up whatever that is. It's probably good. It probably allows you to shoot two things at once. Yep. It sure does. Yeah. So there's this idea of, like, what side of the line when you shoot it do you want to be on, right? Right. And it, you kind of want to dance around it as it's there. Okay. 
Ooh. Ah, so close! Just barely gets hit by that last bubble and thrown across the stage. It's so brutal. Also, uh, I don't know why we're apparently at Machu Picchu. Mm, I don't know where where this is, but it's not it's not quite Machu Picchu, but it's yeah. Somewhere. Ooh, Twitch doesn't know super fast throws. Oh, what super pack? Oh, what? Anchor what? I changed I changed the game title to Super Pang and updated the thing and then it changed it to Super Buster Bros on Twitch. But when I tried Super Buster Bros, <laughs> it didn't find it. Uh, okay, lots of power ups here. Both players have a shield and a looks up. like they both have double chain. Um, but both of them briefly had two other power ups that overwrote each other and then were replaced ultimately by double chain that one that uh, was kind of like a shotgun uh, that one seemed op so yeah. bmac has the worst power up in the game i feel which is the chain that le that latches to the ceiling and stays there oh can you click a button to uh... nope okay <laughs> so what are these fires good if that's really how it works are they just in the way? I feel like they are respawning. Oh, there's like all these bubbles, bubbles up there that you maybe don't want dropping too oh. soon. Oh, oh my god, it's getting messy. Mash, mash, mash. Lost for words in the corner. They're coming in all over. Huh? Doing a good job? Maybe? Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the, this one seems about accuracy. <laughs> And the it's time funny stop. though, like you get this. Um, this is about accuracy, right? Don't miss, or you hit the ceiling, and then everything yep. else comes down. Um, but then once everything does come down, there's this concept of like moving in one direction and keeping the chain on one side of you and the bubbles on the other side of the chain. Yeah, right. Setting up a defensive wall. But mm. well, don't pick that up. Oh no. Be Mac attack. Gonna clear this one first try. Do you keep your power up through stages? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's gone. Yeah. What happened? Lost for Words has carried it into this stage. I'm, Whoa, it's I a stick say. of dynamite. Hmm. Bang. That's why it's called bang, because you get thrown against the wall. Breaking 15 bones. Okay, Lost for Words doesn't have much space, but also there's nothing on the other side, so... They should be fine. If they had the double power up, this would... Oh my god, that was so close. It would be so much easier. Yeah. There it is. The, the ceiling power up is... I thought, like, the shotgun, was that a power up or was that something else? There was something. There was double shot, there was the grappling hook, and there was something else. Like, the, the shotgun that I saw on Lost Forward screen was owning. I would just do that one forever. Oh, there it is! Yeah, what the hell? Just keep doing this. Yeah, it's like a little laser gun. Oh yeah, here's the laser gun. Pew pew! I think it only lasts for like... I don't know, this one's... Hmm. That one's sticking around for a while. Yeah, I think it's just he picked up a double after that. Man, if you get Definitely to keep possible. the laser gun, okay, you don't. Oh, now we now we're fighting against columns. Oh, they're shooting! Wait, no, it's a <laughs> shield. So there's what this interesting these? sort of... You can put up, like, the wall and have them run into the wall. Hmm. But you can also just think of it as, like... I'm shooting these guys. Like, I'm just lining them up and I'm just shooting them. Mm. And, like, I think kind of learning when to think of it as one and when to think of it as the other is going to be important. Yeah. I think when I played this, I was mostly thinking of them as waltz. It's mostly when things get hot, when there's like 15 bubbles coming your way. You just need to hit all those shots. Mm. Are we in India now? I guess. I 
I've been trying to worse. think. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, Lost Rewards could have hit all those blocks and, like, had all the balls free, but then they wouldn't fall while time was stopped. I don't know if that's a good idea or a horrible idea. Uh, if you feel you can keep up with that sort of pressure, it's... It, it could definitely work out, but uh, if you're wrong about that, then you know you're you're gonna find it very quickly. The demo play would do it. Yeah, when I saw that demo mash that button and kill all those bubbles, like I, I probably would at least have some amount of confidence I'd be able to do something similar. I bet Denny played the demo. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't miss. The Mac attack is being so careful. Oh, I, I mean, what can't Danny do, you know? Okay, I like what B Mac attack is doing. Oh, he's a dragon. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, uh -oh. You, you could like. Oh, they they turn around anyway. All right. Oh, okay, they stay on their floor, right? You can probably also kill them with like a, like standing yeah. right next to them and shooting a wall. Oh no! Oh, Sniped. that's such a huge time loss. Still ahead though by that one stage. Does give Lost Forward some time to uh, catch up. Yeah, Lost Forward's had a bubble really low down with the time oh. stop, and so was able to just go to town on it. Oh. Oh my god, he had the shield. Oh no! One left. But, I mean, he was still invulnerable, but it just seemed I so know. risky. Alright, same stage. I do think this is the first stage that teaches you about the uh, translucent and opaque tiles, like which can you shoot through and which you can't. <laughs> was that a thing? Can you shoot through the glassy ones? No, the non-glassy yeah. ones. Not the non-glassy ones, yeah. The glass ones are only the... Oh, they don't stay on their floor! That's okay, you can shoot them anyway. Oh, they're just... they just leave. Goodbye. I guess they don't want to drag this on. Alright. <laughs> well, that's our show, folks! <laughs> Um, you even you j you put the word this in between like you didn't even <laughs> it still works kind of <laughs> it could have worked you could have just said yeah they didn't want this to drag on oh yeah i didn't think of that <laughs> <laughs> b mega tech doing really well on this stage yeah the, that one seemed a little lost for words did better on that previous stage hmm. cleared that a lot quicker so let's okay. see so this is supposed to be Turkey? What? What? Based on where the plane was. Don't know. Hmm. I know Machu Picchu because I've been there. Yeah, uh, no, I, I think that was supposed to be Anchor Wat or something. Yeah, maybe. Because that was all the way back there in, like, Southeast Asia. Oh no, you got this stupid dynamite. Power up. Well, dynamite is good. Yeah. Or is it? Because now there's it's a lot dangerous. of small bubbles. I got the double. Oh no, it disappeared. But actually, the, the, this weapon is pretty good for these small bubbles. You can't mess yeah, up, really. B Mac was still definitely okay as long as they kept to, like, the side in the corner and just letting the bubbles come to them. Oh, he stumbled, so this is Turkey. Okay. You start like at the top here, or you have to time it. So the power ups are just hidden in random blocks. Is that how it works? That way. Enemies Is... drop them too, I think. Yeah. Oh. Like oh, these yeah, little yeah. bats. And also, I've seen like a. Oh, one up. That's useless. Maybe. 
Oh no, he's a dragon. I mean, it it does save them from the hat. Does say B Mac. Oh no! Oh, the dragon killed the bubble. Yeah. What, what a great development. Oh, but Lost for Worse is actually ahead. And gets panged. Super panged. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't really a correction. <laughs> How dare you call it panged when the game is obviously super panged. Super panged. <laughs> super panged. Super panged. <laughs> but yeah, a good race. 12 minutes in. Basically synced. Wow, Big Mac attack yeah. has so much going on. Oh my god. Oh, he's got the double. The double is, is really good. Oh, the, the dragon is gonna kill the He's the needle. Oh, oh, that's why the pacemen said animals are your friends. Oh, but they can, can they hurt you? It seems like Maybe. they've been avoiding them. I mean, they look at... Yeah. Look, this, this dragon has a huge mouth. I would avoid it. it, it yeah, but it definitely did eat that bubble. Oh! Uh, oh. They're friends. Uh, you can kill them, okay. but they won't kill you. Oh, they also block your shots. Oh, I guess that too. Like he he tried to shoot at a bubble and the dragon ate it and fell over. Oh no! Accidentally picked up the stupid hook shot. Oh god! He picked Ooh. up like a dynamite and then just made rain bubbles. Yeah, <laughs> dead angled. There was nowhere to hide, had to hit some shots there. Oh, losing the shield for BMAC B attack still has the double. I think the double is really good. Other than the gun, I think the double is my... Like, the power-up I would try to keep, like Castlevania or Ghosts mm -hmm. and Goblins style. Mm -hmm. Maybe go down? Down seems safer. You can shoot on the ladder. Can you run into bubbles when they're frozen? Oh, I the gun! Wonder. Do not lose the gun! Just just shoot! The shield, the shield to protect it and everything. Oh, the shield is really good too. Oh, oh. Those af the bubbles will go... They split left and right when you pop them, so... When they finally do cross over to one side of the room, you want to make, give them time to get all the way over before you oh, start yeah. popping them. That's a good point. Oh, there's a unicorn. Oh, wow! You got 20,000 oh. points for shooting the unicorn, and also it and cleared the, the level. Over. <laughs> Big points. I wouldn't have thought unicorn murder would be rewarded in this way. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's the key to immortality. Uh, and Mary seems to be uh, getting assaulted bon bon. by gushers. By the way, this is uh, Neuschwanstein. Oh yeah, cool. I know that. It's in Germany. <laughs> I know that from the castles of Mad King Ludwig. It's also the castle that the Disney castle is based on. Fun fact? It doesn't even really look like the Disney castle though. It, it's like the, the like the shape of the towers and just... The, okay, the, the, the Disney castle makes uh, too much sense in comparison to the actual castles. Ah, oh, here's a double. Good pick up for BMAC attack. Lost Forwards has been stuck on this stage for a while now, I think. Uh, he got yeah. here first, actually. Yeah, BMAC has just been trucking while Lost Forwards has Whoa. been stuck in. <laughs> a lot of things happened. What the? That, he, he, shot the he shot the dragon. The dragon flew across the screen and exploded. And ex it exploded on top of Lost Forwards and didn't kill him. That's like the surprising uh, part. Yeah. A lot of things <laughs> happened there. Select the ball! Receive 5,000 points! Go to next world. Oh, it's at the next world. I just assumed it was bad English. And now we're in London? I'm assuming? I think? Paul look, Poland? I mean, maybe, it, maybe it's Venice because of the gondolas? Oh, that's a gondola. Yeah, that's well, I didn't. Well, I sense. didn't even see the foreground. It was just like a brown. Yeah, <laughs> it was just brown. I, like I didn't I, even. I thought it was like some sort of. 
I don't know what I thought it was. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the the world map, so it's a bit hard to tell. Yeah, no, I think they cleared Asia and are in Europe now. I mean that that world map is also up for like a second and a half, so. Oh, explosion! But he has to double. Oh, this is good, I think. Oh, that's for words with the shield. Right oh. before he gets the the hook. Oh. Oh, that's fine. E Mega Tech is gonna clear this and loss for words. Oh, he doesn't have any power up. Oh, here we go. Double. Oh god. Double is good. The food, the food takes your shot. Ah! Uh -huh. Ah! Alright. Everything's okay. good. Okay. Thread the needle. No problems here. Oh, what? Does it just extend your time? Who cares? Oh, wait. It made him slower. Unicorn. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, beam attack! Unicorn. Shoot the unicorn! Oh. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. The stage is almost over anyway. He didn't kill the unicorn. If this is Venice, then I have no idea what's in the background. I don't even know any any buildings in Venice. That was Spain. Was it? I saw the word Spain on the map. Okay. Or at, or is he now at Spain? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I think it was Venice because he moved left and now he's in Spain. And I don't, I don't know which castle is this. Looks like a more boring Swanstein castle. I mean, you could say that a lot about, about a lot of let's, castles. Let's see. Spain biggest castle. <laughs> I've been to Spain, but I was. Oh, uh, here we go. This was no easy. No castles. You this, got it. This is your puzzle hunter coming out. This is well. It doesn't actually say which one this is. It just says it's the best 10 castles in Spain. I want to see the big castle. So this is every best 10 castle then? <laughs> this image. <laughs> it doesn't even have the... Damn it. Lost for words, also getting stuck on world 14 for a bit. Okay, so this is Segav... Segovia's Alcazar. The ultimate Disney castle. What? This website is wrong. Oh, is this what uh, the Sleeping Beauty Segovia. castle? Sorry, what? It's probably one of the most recognizable castles in the country. It's said to be the castle that inspired Cinderella's castle, the symbol for Disney. What? I thought it was no Swanstein. Yeah, this one it? looks a lot more uh, to me. Okay, maybe I lied. What's the castle from Sleeping Beauty based off of? Is that based off of anything? I could answer this myself, but I'm too wrapped up in. Maurice, are you going Dang. to do be doing the mystery hunt in January? You mean MIT? Uh, uh probably a bit. It's it's hard to get so much into it when there's just a hundred puzzles. There are a hundred puzzles in that thing? There's too many. Anyway, uh, BMAC oh. attack on 21 already. Lost Words kind of playing catch up here, 15. And we're only playing 25 levels. Yeah, th they've just been playing a lot more cautiously. There's a lot of like, put one down, walk away, see what happens. If yeah. it was, you know, react to it and then come back and do another one. Whereas Beam attack will just get under those bubbles and start pressing buttons. Yeah. I think B Mac Attack took the lessons from the demo to heart. Uh, Lost for words, not sure what to do about that unicorn, just lets it go off the screen. B Mac Attack had a bubble that was bouncing low. Yeah, that seemed completely rude. Good thing he has a shield. <laughs> I was thinking the same, like, what the hell? Um, uh, have and it, then have... the yeah. iframes, just like use the iframes to get the hell out of there and clear the stage. So just, you know, making the best out of a bad situation. Yeah. Having seen, uh, I think, Flannel Cat play through this, like, try and do speed runs of this game, uh, some of the later levels get real rude. Some of them start out real rough and don't get much better. <laughs> I feel like b -Mac Attack walked right into that one. Yeah, not their best play. There's a little block at the top. I gotta wonder if it's got a power-up. Yeah, that's what it I was has. thinking. I want to see what's in the over. book. So there are limited game overs, but uh, the players have access to a level select code if they do hard game over all the way back. 
Okay. It's going to take some time to enter it or whatever. And, you know, sometimes codes like, well, here we go. I don't know. When I was a kid, I would do them wrong all the time and be like, also, damn it, why didn't it work? To the time. He only had 20 seconds to do this level. Five, four, no, not even going to get there. Yeah. So, Shu was in chat saying the block has a double shot. So, either. They have a double shot. Yeah, I know, but either it's because they played this or because they speedrun this and finished this goal in 12 minutes and 42 seconds earlier. <laughs> and I have a feeling it's the latter. What would, uh. Oh, he's, he's, what would make you so sure about that? Well, dynamite <laughs> and time and double shot. This is a good combo to clear this level fast, but he gets it! Don't get hit! Gets thrown across the level, but... Oh, he's so far ahead! Lost for words, it's just... has a huge problem here in Germany. Yeah, once the game started sort of demanding that you be comfortable being under a lot of bubbles and hitting the button, rapid fire to clear them all as they come in... Um... Mac attack has just been able to handle those situations and Lost for Words kind of hasn't. It was so close, like uh, at 12 minutes, I think we were both on level like 13 or something. Yeah, it's it's we pretty... Were. It's a lot more common that one player pulls ahead early, and then the other player, you know, whatever they were doing um, to get ahead, the other person starts doing. And then we... that gap stays there for the rest of the race and they, they still lose but it was it was the person who like learned faster yeah. earlier who wins but this one is like the opposite we did see a little bit of tech on b max side with the uh time stop he ran it he hit the time stop and ran into bubbles that were below him and was able to shoot them clean that clean down even though he was touching them Confirmation they don't kill you while time is stopped. Yeah. Yeah, he just walked through them again. Oh god, there's so many bubbles. I don't even, I don't, oh, he doesn't even have double. Oh, this is, yeah, <laughs> it's just too you many gotta bubbles. gotta be accurate, yeah. You definitely don't want to just shoot your friend when there's all those bubbles. Oh, right, yeah, the fire is our friend. I forgot about that. Yeah, it'll fly around and pop up, pop things. I, I mean, maybe you don't want him to do that, right? Like, maybe you're perfectly happy to have that big one in the middle stay there the whole time. Oh, yeah, that's true. So maybe you take him out, I don't know. I want to say later on, they introduce birds, which we'll go after. Oh, we got a gun! Oh, no, oh, don't! Just shoot all that stuff! Don't accidentally pick up the nut gun. <laughs> all right, gonna have to actually play the game to finish. Ah, damn it. Oh, get the life, get the life! Nice. So we're seeing the level select code going in. And uh, for Rickery, it's not quite working, so I'm having, it's ner I'm ner having nervous now for the players who are going to yeah. figure out how to do this. At the game select screen. World 1. Nope, that's World 1. Oh, it wants shoulder buttons, not D-pad buttons. How does it say, like, RL? Yeah. Is, is this a preview for Jolly Mania? It says LRRL up down. Which oh. went up and down, or, like up and down, are spelt out though. They're not UD, so oh, maybe that should help. It would still in. throw me off so hard. It it would. <laughs> oh god. I mean, luckily that's it doesn't matter high. because that's a clear from B Mac attack. Yeah, just really, really strong, accurate shooting of those spears, able to handle all the high pressure situations when those bubbles were coming in. Very daring play style. Just getting right in there, shooting like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Never really got stuck on anything. There, there was that one level, like 12 or something, whichever level allowed Lost for Words to take the lead. But That's other right. than that, just kind of breezing through this goal. Oh, this game. This screen says select game. So this is the game select screen. Or, or is it? Well, the cursor should have probably moved up and then down, hmm. and it didn't. So I think the code was not done right. Um, 
Did they try doing the code before the difficulty select? Hmm. I mean, no. yeah. Lost for words says forfeited. It is a forfeit. I don't know. I don't know if that was specifically because of the code or just didn't want to play anymore. But yeah, GG to both of our competitors. Uh, congratulations <laughs> to B Mac Attack sixty four. You will be moving on. No, did B Mac? Yes, I said B Mac. B Mac yeah. Attack sixty four. <laughs> yeah. Move on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I thought I said lost for words. For I mean, it like, was to oh, be expected. Wait. I mean, fifty percent win rates. You can't beat that. Yeah, yeah, that 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 is statistically the best win rate you can have in mystery turn. It, it turns out. <laughs> hey, B Mac. Hi. Good job. You win. Thank. You. That was fun. <laughs> I actually enjoyed that game a lot. Yeah, this was both me and Cyrohydra were like, this was a. We would run into this in arcades and pizzerias i guess specifically when yes. when we were younger there was just something appealing about it so it was cool to see it actually get played uh what yeah. did you think of it other than other than having fun yeah <laughs> uh it was interesting i i'll tell you what the is it like a grapple shot i don't no, know the one what that it stayed is. there forever <laughs> that power uh -huh. up sucks Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. It, you um, miss, and then you gotta wait, you know, five, six seconds before you can ever shoot again. It's pretty terrible. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, the gun power up, I could use some more of those. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking every time. <laughs> oh, get the gun, get the gun. Okay, now then don't get anything else. Right. It was comical how much better that was than everything else. <laughs> yeah. It's like not even yeah. close. You can like just stand under a giant balloon and, and blow it away in like two seconds. You were pretty, um, the, the big story of this race, I guess, you guys were very close up to like level 15 or 16 or so. Yeah. Um, and then it started to get harder with just like, just more bubbles and closer quarters, I guess. And it just seemed like you were more comfortable hitting the button, rapid fire on things that were like right in front of you, right on top of you. Oh, yeah. I was just fighting for my life. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to get hit. Um, what was cool is that like you don't have to like technically shoot it with the hook, right? Like the bubble will burst if it hits the string. Mm -hmm. So if you just kind of lead it by like a pixel or two, you'll you'll be safe yep um so that was nice to kind of like squeak by some of those crazy areas uh so we didn't we didn't read the pace until later so like when some dragons showed up and we were like oh my god look out like he, he took too long and there's dragons <laughs> loose or whatever <laughs> right um did it did were you aware the whole time at least that like these were friends and they were gonna pop bu bubbles for you no <laughs> with their friends. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I didn't read that far in the pacement. I just looked at the the controls. It's very so. It's a little bit unclear. Other tips: animals are your friends, but you oh, still so might want those, like, to shoot them guys. sometimes. I, yeah, I agree with what that you said, wrong. Mythical Nine. Like, oh, you took too long because that's a thing in um, Bubble Bubble, but right. it's like a ghost yeah, yeah. that appears after like a minute or whatever. It, yeah. it, it really felt like that. I was shooting those fire guys. I thought maybe I'd get like a power up if I killed them or something. But uh, and then you can't shoot horizontally, so I was really scared of those uh, dragon things. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, we I were thought, too. We were like, "What do you I do?" Was like, like <laughs> rude if I was stuck on the ground with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, but, the, occasionally yeah. like a bubble would pop by, and the dragon would just like, just yeah. Just I chomp noticed it. they would kill bubbles. But like both the fire and the dragon, but I thought if I touched them, they would kill me. 
but that's good to know. Maybe next time I'll uh, I'll be friendlier to the fire guys. Yeah, I mean they can mess with you, right? Like there was one level where there's a giant balloon that's trapped up top, and if you leave the fire guy, he might go up and pop it and set all that stuff free mm -hmm. when at a bad time or whatever. Right. Yeah. Also, they can intercept your shots, even if they're not harmful to you. I do remember seeing either you or Lost for Words taking a death because you you had a dragon on top of you and you were shooting a bubble coming right down, and that the dragon just eats the shot and falls over. You get yeah. hit in the head. <laughs> right, and then it kills your line, and, and then the line doesn't pop the bubble. Yeah, definitely was an obstacle. Well, you played great, um, and it seems like you, you liked the game. I thought it was cool, so it's hard hard to ask for much more than that, I guess, at a mystery tournament. I do, yeah. I do have a completely inane question, as uh, is becoming my brand, sort of. Uh, well, what did you think of the hexagons? Because when I saw them, I immediately thought Gushers, even though it took me, like, a good... 20 seconds to go like what is this what is this shape making me think of what is what is the, what is this specific thing making me oh, think not of gushers <laughs> i i did not think of gushers but i i don't i didn't understand the difference between the bubbles and the hexagons yeah that it just seemed like they they just they just move differently like right different. yeah they, they bounced a little differently that was it okay they didn't take more hits or anything. I noticed that, but uh, yeah. other than that, I think just look different. Oh, here we go. Tea Party's here to do the thing. Where B Mac, you're fighting the loser of Callback versus Some Girl. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's everyone's response. Where they they just don't really even know how to feel about it. So they're just like, well, okay. <laughs> I've raced Some Girl before, so I know yeah. how that goes. But. Yeah, be so you're rooting for callback, <laughs> or no, you're rooting for some girl to win so that you fight the loser. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's what I would you... do. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Well, right, uh, please, thank please. you guys. Thanks for the good game, uh, and I will see you guys next match. All right, certainly. Speaking of next match, there is one more still to 